Today we celebrate the feast day of the great apostle Andrew, the first called of the Lord, and one who brought many others with him, including his own brother Simon Peter, who would become the first pope of our church. Andrew, like all the other apostles except St. John, was a martyr. And as legend had it, when he was condemned to death to be executed, he came down to the shore, led by the guards, and there was this X-shaped cross, uh, which has come to be known as St. Andrew's Cross. And the apostle, with joy, cried out as he saw the cross, Hail, hail, O cross, hail, long-desired cross. And he was crucified, and even as he was hanging there from the cross, he was preaching Jesus Christ. This is amazing, but it's something that we have to be careful that we don't accept too easily. Sometimes the truths of our faith can fall easily upon us because they are far removed from us, like St. Andrew, about 2,000 years, or because we've heard them so many times. How many times have you heard, you know, take up your cross and follow me? But does the full weight of that hit us? Which one of us cries out with joy at the prospect of suffering? Uh, think in your own lives, you know, a visit to the doctor's office. Oh, hail, you know, blessed needle, uh, long desired chemo. Uh, we don't look forward to suffering, do we? No, it's insane. And yet, here we have St. Andrew, whose experience of suffering has been fundamentally changed because he now sees it as an encounter with Christ. He's on the cross, but he's not there alone because someone has gone before him, our Lord Jesus Christ. And that's one of the great insights of our holy religion, that the experience of human suffering, which is such an enigma, uh, such a confounding mystery, uh, has been open for us because God has not absented himself from suffering. He enters into it with us. Our Lord took on a human body. He felt in his body the pain of suffering, of abandonment. He cried out, in pain. He wept tears of blood, and he died. Suffering is always a mystery. It's always a puzzle. It's not something that we look forward to, but we know that it's not a place that's removed from a divine encounter. Rather, God is there in the very midst of the darkness. And so St. Andrew is not a masochist, but he is looking forward to experiencing friendship with God, union with Jesus in a radical way, even in the experience of his own death and abandonment, because he knows that Jesus has gone before. St. Andrew was crucified on a shore. Think back through the gospel, even today's gospel. Andrew had already encountered Jesus on the shoreline. He was called on the shore. He experienced miracles, the miracle of the, the fish being caught on the shore. After the resurrection, the apostles saw Jesus on the shore. And so when St. Andrew came to that fateful day of his life, when he saw a cross set up for him on the shore, he could approach it with confidence because he knew that Jesus was there. He had met him on the shore. For many of you today who are praying with us at this Mass, you're at home because you are unable to get to Mass in person for one reason or another. You're sick or you're infirm. Think back to the many blessings you've experienced at home, uh, your family life, uh, raising a family, all the times of joy, all the times that you've found God where you are. But now for you, your home is perhaps a place of suffering. It's a cross. Well, like St. Andrew, you can find our Lord Jesus Christ right in your midst. You can find him in the doctor's appointments that you'll be going to because he's been with you all along. Think back. Our Lord has never left you alone for a moment, your whole life long. He's been with you at every breath, and he's not going to abandon you now. The secret is to find him now in this puzzling enigma of suffering. Know, through the intercession of St. Andrew, that he will be with you. Pray to this great apostle of Christ, that he can teach us the secret that he bore in his own body, that he can encounter God even in the suffering even in death itself. As we make our communion today, whether here at the altar or spiritually, 
We ask Jesus, come into every experience of our life, Lord, especially those which are most difficult for us, that we may know we are never alone. We are always loved and supported and surrounded by God's love at every moment of our life and even in our death.